Hello, super scholars and super parents. Because we are changing how you're going to be turning in your work to teachers, I wanted to take a quick minute just to make a video to one, show us again how to log into your scholars Google account, and then two, just how to navigate through Google Classroom so that it's really easy just to access everything that you're going to need for our daily work. So the first thing is to hit the blue sign in button. And then you will use your scholar's email. So that's going to be first name dot last name at stu dot fayette dot ky schools dot s. Then you will put in their password. Their password is the same exact password they use to log in to their Chromebooks. If you have already logged in once, on their Google account and you haven't logged out or they're using their school Chromebook, you won't have to do this again. You can tell that they're logged in when you see their icon in the top right corner. To get to Google Classroom, you're gonna select the waffle and then click on Classroom. Your student may have more than one class. You're gonna select the one with their homeroom teacher. This will take you to the stream. The stream shows you everything that has been posted in order, but to make things a little more organized and easier to find, you're gonna wanna go to Classwork. The first folder you will see in Classwork is helpful videos and links. This is where we're gonna post all of those how-to and Google login, um, Success Maker Alexia help videos that we've been making from YouTube, they're all going to be linked here. Zoom codes and um, the links will also be here just so you have one central place where you can find everything that you might need to use throughout the day. As far as daily classwork goes, it will be posted using the date and the day. So I have two days here. I have today's work and yesterday's. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Thursday just because it has a math and reading assignment under it. So you will click on that and let's say that I wanna work on math first. When I click on math, it's gonna give me everything I need for that day to help with my work. So I can click on the slides and it will take me straight to our slides that we use. And I can watch the instructional video right from Google Classroom. Once I have completed my work, I will take a picture on whatever device that I'm using for Google Class. So if you use your Chromebook for Google Classroom, take it right on your Chromebook. If you use a tablet, use that same tablet to take the picture. The reason is because once you're done, you're going to need to turn in your work where it says your work, add or create. Click add or create, and it gives you a few options. The easiest one is going to be to select file, and then it will let you upload the picture of your work from your device. You will do this by select files from your device, pictures, and then select the picture of the work you have done today. So let's say this is my work I've completed for math. I'm gonna select that and then open. Once I have done that, I can hit upload. It will only take a few seconds. And now my picture is attached. Once I have attached that picture, all I have to do is select turn in. And now your teacher has been notified that your scholar has submitted their work. Once I'm done with one assignment, I can go back out. And now I'm ready for my reading assignment. It is the same process. I have my slides and I have my instructional video to help me with my assignment. After my assignment is done, I'm going to take a picture, add or create, file, select from your device, 
select the picture, and then upload it. Once I have turned that in, then I am done for the day. And that is all I need to do. Now, I will say that for this particular assignment, you had to do a Flipgrid video. If there is an assignment where you have to do a Flipgrid video or it's some kind of thing or like the formative, then you will not have to upload a picture of it. We will be able to see those from those sites. But for the work that is paper or in the workbooks and things like that, please do take a picture and then submit it so that we can see exactly what you've done and that we can give any feedback or comments that may be helpful.